All right, guys, we're back again. This is proving to be a little bit tougher than what I anticipated, unfortunately. Uh, I you know, work a full-time job and go to work in the morning in the dark, and then I'm getting home in the dark, so coming up with things to do is a little bit tricky this time of year. I thought there was gonna be a little bit more snowmobiling, but uh, that really hasn't happened yet. I was looking at the weather stations this morning and nothing in Colorado really has very much snow. I'll uh, add in a little clip of looking at that. So as we kind of scroll through here, you can kind of take a look and see. I think the highest snow height I saw was 33 inches, which isn't, isn't anything to brag about, that's for sure. But hopefully more is on the way here soon. So with that being said, I think it's time to maybe whip out the dirt bike again. Uh, I wanted to give a little review and show you guys what I ride. Um, some of you might care if you're a motor junkie like me. So without further ado, here's my 2018 Husqvarna FC350. previous bike, I'll insert a picture here. Was a 2002 Honda CR250 two-stroke, which was an absolute beast. I, I loved that bike. Um, I was coming off of uh, my first bike ever, which was a 2010 KTM 250 which was couldn't have asked for something better to learn on um, quickly realized though that being at elevation and the type of riding that I enjoy doing I need to step up to something else so decided to get the two 252 stroke which you know as many of you know used to race with 454 strokes um, Rode that for a long time. Ended up kind of finding that, for me, uh, the suspension just wasn't really where I wanted. Uh, I've had a few surgeries on my wrists and hand, and kind of kind of was causing me to have a lot of pain after riding. Unfortunately, uh, tend to go a little bit hard when I do go out there, and kind of prompted me to look for something newer. Uh, a little bit better suspension and this is what I ended up coming up with. So let's take a closer look, show you some of the features that I enjoy and uh, maybe some of you have it and maybe we can go ride sometime, I don't know. So let's dive into it. This is my 2018 Husqvarna FC350. Um, had it for a little over a summer now. Have uh, I think 25 hours on it. And like I said before, I'm coming off of a 2002 Honda CR250, which I absolutely loved. I only reason I sold it was trying to find something with a little better suspension. Uh, didn't really need something quite as big as a 450. Uh, and I knew from riding 250s before that I kind of outgrown them uh, for the area that I live in. So I decided to go with a 350, which uh, couldn't be happier with so far. It's 
exceeded all expectations. Uh, I had no idea what a difference it was going to make going to a bike with newer suspension on it. Just being able to absorb the blows and kind of take away any vibration and uh, just really helps with those harder impacts that you end up with on trail. Uh, the type of riding I enjoy really is tighter technical stuff. Um, I have some really beautiful riding areas around. Uh, hoping to actually take you guys out with me this weekend if uh, weather will warm up a little bit and can find some people to go with. Shouldn't be too much of a problem though. Typically everyone wants to go riding. So let's take a closer look here. So something kind of cool that this bike comes with is two different maps. Um, you're able to change it on the fly. For me, you can see it there. I've actually just kept it in map one. Uh, I've messed around with map two a little bit. Seems like map two is a little bit more aggressive, uh, a little more instant throttle response. Um, just more aggressive all around on and off the throttle. Uh, I haven't found a need for that yet. Uh, I've been, it works just fine in map one for me. What this bike also has is a form of traction control, which they say in the manual is supposed to kind of adjust the amount of throttle that you're giving the rear tire if the bike senses it's spinning. I know a lot of guys that turn that feature off. For me personally, I haven't really noticed a difference. I've messed with it on, messed with it off, and they both seem to work just fine. I have actually maybe found slightly more traction with traction control on. Uh, I don't really notice it cutting out the bike. I don't notice it taking power away from me when I need it. Um, I leave it on. A lot of guys take it off. Um, it works well for me. One thing that I did to the, actually two things that I've done to the bike so far since I got it is uh, one with a pretty heavy duty skid plate. Um, something that you kind of need up here riding in the rocks. And then another thing I went with was a kickstand. Um, man, this sucker was kind of expensive, but extremely worth it. If, any, if anyone ever knows that you've ridden without a kickstand and you, uh, you stop with your friends to take a break or something and you're either laying your bike on the ground, which typically the bike doesn't enjoy, uh, or you're stuck sitting on it or trying to lean it against a, the nearest tree or rock, which, you know, out in the middle of the desert can be a little tough to find. So, um, oh, the fast weight kickstand, it, uh, it's all billet. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, really sturdy. I haven't had any problems with it. Um, and I also went with the skid plate that protects my lower arm there, as you can see. The lower linkage arm is known for hitting on rocks and stuff if you kind of just get the skid plate that stops here like most of them do. But this one actually has a little flap that goes down and protects that lower linkage. So that's kind of a bonus. Something else that I found to kind of be a weird difference between the old bike and the new one is the seat. Man, this sucker is grippy. I don't know how well it's going to come up on camera. Once you're sitting on there with a good set of pants, you're not sliding off of it very easily, which is really handy when things get a little bit rowdy out there. The bike comes factory with Brembo's front and rear. I don't know if you guys have ever ridden something with Brembo's or driven something with Brembo's, but they're definitely one of the better guys in the game when it comes to brakes. can't tell you how many times I've laid on that front brake, brake on this bike and uh, coming from something a little bit older and almost gone over the front. It was a little bit of a shock of the first, first few rides out. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed that little bit of an overview on the dirt bike that I ride and another one of the many toys in my life that really bring me happiness. Um, I know a lot of you motorheads will kind of relate. I don't know if you guys watched my last video uh, sharing my Miata that I sold and kind of showed you where where I'm going next. That 
video with the Corvette was actually supposed to be earlier in the week and unfortunately I filmed it uh, last Friday and ended up being dark really dark um, wasn't even worth sharing which was really unfortunate I put a lot of work into it and tried to share you share the Corvette with you guys and show you a little bit about the car uh, so I guess that'll have to wait when it comes back from getting the cage welded in should be still a week or two the guys do beautiful work I choose not to rush them in any means I trust them so when that comes back we'll have a little bit more to do have a lot of big plans for that car coming up uh, I actually got accepted to uh, drive Coda which is Circuit of the Americas down in Texas so I think that'll be my first big event and uh, fingers crossed that we can get ready in time and make the trip down there so till next time hopefully this weekend